the teal and orange look has become so popular in modern cinema thanks to its unique ability to create a sense of depth and visual interest. It's really pleasing to the human eye. Also, our skin tones typically sit somewhere in the orange spectrum, so pushing teals into the shadows will help skin stand out from the rest of the image. This is why it's widely used, it's so popular, and today I'm going to show you how you can create this teal and orange look in DaVinci Resolve. So, let's get started. Okay, I didn't have a human subject, so I'm using this lovely cat image for this tutorial. I think it will turn out really great. Let's start by building our node structure. First, I'm going to create a bunch of nodes. My first node is white balance, and my second is going to be my highlights. Third node is going to be my primaries, my balance. Our fifth node is going to be our teal and orange look. The previous node is going to be for our black points. We will adjust our black points in this node. This one is going to be my look adjustment. My last two nodes is going to be my CST and Kodak 2383 film print. And also I can create a parallel node to this teal and orange adjustment. Usually create this node for the skin. In this situation, we have an orange cat, so let's just call it skin. Anyway, first I will start by adding my color space transform. Let's just convert our log image to Rex over 9. Then I will apply my LUT, go into film look. I will drop a neutral Kodak 23. When we first drop it on a node, it will look terrible. We have to key it out, decrease the key output around 0.28. This is before, this is after. Looking good. Let's just play around with our temperature. And now I'm going to use my offset, my gain and gamma and lift sliders to balance my image. I will also boost the shadows because my shadows looks kind of dark. I will add a bit of contrast. This is before, this is after. It looks perfect even now. So we balanced our image. We can start creating our look. I will go into my teal and orange node. I will push teal and green into my shadows with my left. Then I will push my gamma into the opposite direction to create the initial teal and orange look. So we have so much blue in our shadows. And then I will correct that by going to my log wheels and push some red, maybe some magenta in my shadows. I'm trying to make sure my blacks look black this is a key point here yeah before and after look how much it cleans up all the magenta and red in the image so i will go into my skin node and with my curves i'll go into hue versus saturation then i will select red and yellow and then i will give it a little bit saturation just go too much and then pull it back this will create even more depth before and after just a tiny bit we can see it on the head now we need to pop our image even more i will go into my look adjustment with my curves i enabled my editable splines so with that i'll create an s curve like this don't worry about the highlights i will adjust them in my second node before and after. We can even give a little bit more saturation at this point, before and after. Now I will go into my highlights to get that filmic look. Oh, actually, to create more color contrast, I can go into my set versus luminance curve, bring down the highlighted areas to give even more saturation. Maybe even in the shadows. Yes, something like this. This is before, this is after. Look, this, I mean, it's like creating a really nice color contrast. It also feels natural. Okay, now we can work on our highlights. Actually, I'll go to my primaries and boost my shadows even further. Now I will go into my highlights. I will select with the qualifier tool. Let's see what we are doing here. Let's drop the low end and pick the highlighted areas. Let's give it a denoise. Then bring down the highlights like this. And this will give that filmic feel. Yeah, this looks even perfect. Lastly, I will also add a film grain, 45 millimeters. I want to make it a bit more extreme on this. I mean, that's it. This is our log image and after. I think this looks perfect. So that's how you can create this dense and 
really saturated teal and orange look in DaVinci Resolve. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something out of it. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, take care.